So uh, eco-grease lighting is all about clean energy as you can see and I think the way to get people really into clean energy is to make it in a profitable way. Like let's say you have like a trucking company or something and you're paying like almost four dollars a gallon for diesel. You could go out and get a contract with some uh, with a, a restauranting company and get the grease from them and maybe you pay them like two dollars a gallon or something like that or you could probably find it in a cheaper way to get the same sort of uh, traveling um, distance at a much cheaper rate. Yeah, so and, and also we're already making this resource anyway. We're, all, we're always going to be eating food, so we're always going to be producing grease, and it's putting that energy to uh, productive means rather than just making it a wasteful thing. And also on our bus, we're putting all of our energy to the most efficient use. Like when we're running on grease or we're running on vegetable oil, uh, we're producing more energy than the bus than the bus actually needs to go. So we're gonna what my plan is, is or our plan is is to uh, to use golf cart batteries to also to charge to be charged by the engine and then to reuse later and so that way we're using and saving as much energy from the amount of uh, energy we're using off the oil. I mean, uh, you know, it, this global warming and whether you believe in it or not, and uh, you know, no matter what, there's there's harmful pollution that's coming out of uh, a lot of uh, energy means of energy and uh, if you want a sustainable future and you want to have the, the planet the way it is right now we're going to need to start moving towards a cleaner and sustainable way and in, in a lot of ways it's a profitable way. Chinese restaurants apparently have the best grease because if they uh, they change their oil out all the time and they use a lot of vegetables and uh, you know they uh, they you know, they're, they're pretty greasy at Chinese places. <laughs>